the Final Fantasy series has received re-releases throughout the current generation, with the exception of the PlayStation 2 games Final Fantasy X, X2, and XII, they've mostly been contained to digital download releases, and for the most part that makes sense, as there really isn't much reason to waste a full Blu-ray disc on just a couple of gigabytes of data that will sell in big waves no matter which way it's released. This all being said, Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, which just recently received its updated content rating from the ESRB, looks to be releasing quite soon. Now for a game that is a remaster and not a remake of any sorts, it certainly had some interesting rumors floating about, such as the game potentially introducing voice acting. Square Enix hasn't commented on any of this, or a number of other rumors about the game. And today we received yet another sign that the game could be having a potential physical release on the horizon. While a couple of retailers had previously listed Final Fantasy VIII Remastered Physical Edition for pre-order, import retailer Play Asia has now listed the physical version of Final Fantasy VIII Remastered for purchase. This follows in with video game retailer and rental service Gamefly also listing Final Fantasy VIII's physical edition on their website. Of course, for a retailer like Play Asia, which specializes in imports, you can pre-order the Japanese, North American, European, or Continental Asia version for PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. The description of the game reading quote, Final Fantasy VIII Remastered marks the 20th anniversary of its original release, with fresh new visuals bringing the game's beloved story to modern platforms. With its overhaul visuals, see your favorite characters come to life like never before. Sounds like great marketing jazz, but here's the kicker. The currently listed retail price is 60 United States dollars, which is the price of a brand new AAA game. This seems incredibly high, with the only remaster in recent history for Square Enix to charge full price for being Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, which had quite a bit of work done to it. It also most notably included Final Fantasy XV Episode Dust Guy, a demo that lets you try the game a year before its release. This is likely to be the placeholder price for the game, that is until the official price for the game is revealed by Square Enix. Considering the price associated with distributing a physical copy of the game, giving a cut to retailers and etc, I couldn't imagine the game costing anything less than $30 to $40. I do imagine it being a bit more pricey than the re-releases of Final Fantasy 7 and 9, as Final Fantasy 8 Remaster seems to have required a bit more work, such as them going through and revamping all the character models in the entire game. That also includes enemies, by the way. That being said, there's no way I can imagine them charging the cost of a full PS4 game for it, but even to charge something like $40 is sort of insane, and it would definitely need something like voice acting to justify the cost, or maybe a Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. Square Enix has also sent out some marketing emails for the game over the weekend, which contains some brand new clips, including our first look at Cypher's updated character model. These clips are in GIF format and are fairly low in resolution, but from what we can tell, the game's textures look significantly better, and you can make out Cypher's face with much more clear detail. Overall, the quality of the characters reminds me of something similar to a first-generation PS2 game, which is a pretty significant leap from the original game. Honestly, I'm very excited for Final Fantasy VIII Remastered and I get more impatient for news on it every single day. While the release date is expected to be dropping incredibly soon, as the game is slated to be coming this year, 2019, there's still no word from Square Enix on it yet. But that does mean that the game is only three and a half months away at most, so we should be receiving some news on that front soon. So Ultima Weapons, will you be buying Final Fantasy VIII Remastered physical version, or will you just be downloading it? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you've been enjoying my content, be sure to check out the Patreon for the Night Sky Prince, just like Daniel Faustino, who is helping me keep this channel thriving. You are the absolute best, and we owe today's video to you. Shout out to Daniel and the rest of the Ultima community. Story.